I won't even try to make an intro today, because I'm just really sad. I cannot understand why Hypergrief decided it was a good idea to make the same mistake again. And it was on purpose. Here's the deal. You know Shaw, right? And you know that Shaw was the only shifter in the game who didn't get a force increase from level 7 to M3 on one of her skills, right? Well, now Shaw is not the only one anymore. They decided to do the same thing with Almond. But it's worse in Almond's case. Because, first, Almond is not a near one up like Shaw. Second, Almond is a 5 star, and she's not even from a new archetype. While Shaw is a 4 star who we do expect to be shafted by Hypergriff. And third, every single puller in the game so far had the exact same pull force. And pay attention here, not every shifter, just every puller, the ones that pull the enemies, you know? Rope, same force as Gladia. Snow Sand, Cliffheart, they all have the same force. Every skill has force 1 at rank 7 and gets force 2 at M3. And I know a lot of people don't know what force 1 and force 2 mean, so let me explain. Every enemy has a weight value. And since they updated the UI again, we have access to that info in-game. If the force of the operator's skill matches with the enemy's weight, the enemy will move 3 tiles or so. If the force is one lower than the weight, the enemy will move about 1 tile. And if the force is too lower than the weight of the enemy, they will get a small nudge. Anything more than that, and they won't move at all. Also, if two skills with the same force hit an enemy at the exact same time, the force of the shift is increased by 1. And that's why Weedy was the only operator who could reach force 4 before the modules came out, because she had her cannon. Now, I always like to speak in force numbers instead of force words like the game does, because the wording in game is just way too bad. I think Shaw is the only outlier actually, but the wording on her skills make no sense. She has significantly on her S2, denoting Force 2. Which is correct, this is the skill that doesn't get a Force increase at M3. But her S1 says greatly, which is used to denote Force 3 in other pushers. And no, Shaw S1 does not have Force 3, it has Force 2. That's why I say numbers, and not the words. You can check first numbers and the correct words in most of the informative websites for Arcanites, like the Arcanites Wiki, the Toolbox, or Game Press. And look, I get that Almond has upsides to try and compensate for this unfortunate decision they made. I'm not here to make blind statements, I read her skills. Almond's S2 is very nice if you want to hold a big enemy she can't pull in place for a little bit, because it binds and it holds for 4 seconds. Those weird corners where a way 3 enemy might not be pulled by Rope or Gladia, Almond can pull them, because during her S3 she will pull them 3 times without letting them walk in between pulls, and that will make up for the little bit extra you missed to get to the hole. Who knows, if the corner is working for you she might even be able to nudge with 4 enemies into the hole. And they did give Almond's S1 3 charges, just like Gladia's skill. And you can even heli drop Almond on small enemies because she starts with one charge and gets another 2 from her talent right after using the skill once. But I just can't get over the fact that she doesn't get the force increase. Just why? There are so many elites in the game with way 2 that she just won't be able to do any shenanigans with just because of this decision. When playing with pullers, you always have a reason to stop for a second and decide if you want to pull more, so you bring their S1, or if you want to pull at more specific times, and then you bring their S2 or S3, in Gladia's case. But that power to decide only exists because all their skills are the same pull force. In Almond's case, you can't decide. If you want to play with her, you are forced to bring her S2 if the enemies you want to pull 
are way two or three. Look, at the end of the day, the only people who will actually be affected by this are the new players who just got Almond and decided she was the cutest among the pullers. Because Snowsand, Cliffheart and Gladia are free. Only Rope and Almond are gacha ops. They will have that shawl treatment in their gameplay and even then, it's not that big of a deal. Unless they are trying to follow a guide or something and they don't understand why the op they just spent all their resources to M3 doesn't work like the internet man said. Those players will probably be fine and just kill stuff normally instead of using a hole when they see that what they wanted to pull can't really be pulled. But I'm still really sad with this stuff. Well, if anything, this might be a sign of things to come. For anyone wanting stronger op for some reason, this might mean we will get a puller with force 3 at some point. For me, this is just the repeat of a mistake. This was Kuma, and I hope everyone has a very nice day. Peace out. And rip Almond. <laughs>